All right, so we are at a DR Horton home. This is the Salem house plan. Um, so we'll kind of go through the whole thing. So as you walk in, this is considered the flex room on your right. All right, so as you go down the hallway, to your right is the bathroom, single bathroom. Turn off the light switch. So you have a half bath right here. And then as you go down all the way further to the right, this is where your laundry room will be. Room, washer and dryer, hang your stuff up. And then as you enter, then you go into the garage, and it's a two-car garage. This is actually where the washer, uh, no, not the washer dryer, but this is enough room to put like a freezer or whatever you'll do, but it's a two-car garage. A lot of plugs. All right. So as you continue back into the hallway, go straight on. There's a little closet. Your coat closet, put your shoes at. Keep going straight. This is the living room area. So what we're picking out will not have a fireplace. It will actually just go straight across. Um, but this is the living room area. Towards the living room area, they have a closet underneath the stairs. So more storage is all the way underneath right here. So put whatever you need to put there. Then you're looking at the kitchen area. So you have the cabinets. Um, we have the stove, the microwave. Um, a two sink, and then it also has a dishwasher, a lot of cabinets as well. Refrigerator comes along with it. And then over here will be your dining area. Right here is where you actually put your dining table at, this little nook area. Plenty of room. And then right here is the back porch. And right here, you just come out here and you can build onto it. You can make a... Uh, roof however you want to do it it goes back here and you can put your patio furniture all right so once again kitchen so from the kitchen then you go into there's another little closet this is actually the pantry that belongs to the kitchen plenty of room to put your cereal rice whatever noodles you know mom <laughs> and then this is the master suite so here's the master suite for downstairs Big, big room, big room. And then the master suite bathroom. This one here actually has a separate tub and shower. We're gonna change this one up to actually just have a shower tub together in the closet. And then it has a two sink. And then it has a separate toilet. So you can take a bath, use a toilet, whatever. And then a huge, 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 huge closet. So plenty of room, plenty of room. Really pretty floors, pretty paint scheme. Everything looks like him and her and she, you know, him and his, her and his cat sink. Awesome. So this is the master suite. So now we're gonna leave the master bedroom and let's head up stairs. Just once again, just look again at the cabinets and stuff. All right, so let's go up the stairs. It's all carpet from this point. All right, and you can actually put a little table or something right here if you want to on the corners. Big old window, you can look out. All right, so as you go up, the first bedroom to your left is pretty big. So this is the first bedroom, and this one sits right in front of the house. So you got the front view of the window, I mean the window to the front, looking out, big closet, big, big closet. Perfect for a girl, with all her stuff. Okay, so then we got another closet to put like towels and stuff like that. And then we go down this way and this is the um, master suite room. So, oh, what's in this one? Wait, there's a closet or something here. So there's another closet space. So. It actually goes all the way around. Kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> like a little space. <laughs> Put something there. Okay, so let's go back to the master suite. So we went from the one bedroom straight across to the master suite. The master suite has 
two big closets. There's one closet and this one right here, another closet. So plenty of closet space for the master suite. Then we entered the master suite bathroom. It's kind of like downstairs, same paint scheme. Same thing, so just it's exactly like this. So same, his and hers sink, bathtub shower, and then the toilet's back here. So, what a privacy. All right, so we're gonna exit this room. All right, so we saw two bedrooms. There's two more bedrooms to go. So we'll go back out. And then we go down here. So we already saw the front bedroom. That's front of the house, master suite. Some more down here. So this is the shared bathroom for upstairs. Same paint scheme, floor, same bathtub, really nice. And then you go down here to the bedrooms. And these are two bedrooms. They're about almost identical. So this is one room right here. So as you can see, and it also has a nice closet, big, big, big closet. There's always a big closet. And they get the side view of the house window. And then you have the other bedroom, which is over here on this side, right next door. Same thing. And then they'll have a big closet as well. So both of them has real big closets. There's always space to put things up. But this is this room. And they get the back view up here. So, but this is this room. And all of them have ceiling fans. Um, all of them have the fire alarm. Also, it has an attic. It's not pulled down right now. It has the attic. And this is what it looks like from up here if you're at the balcony up at the top of the steps looking down. So, right here. So, that's the view of the whole house. Um, once again, this is the DR Horton Salem house plan with the master suite upstairs, which is optional. Usually, it's just a bigger room. But um, if you enjoy this video, hit like, subscribe, woohoo! And, uh, be sure to check it out.